Hello, welcome to Axonautics for Exploit. In this video, I will be going over space tourism, motivations and reasons for space tourism, space tourism companies, and new frontier of destinations. The concept of space tourism is one of the most exciting emerging futures of the wider tourism industry. It is a segment of the aviation industry that seeks to give tourists the ability to become astronauts and experience space travel for recreational, leisure, or business purposes. Space tourism, which is also known as human space travel, personal space flight, or commercial human space flight, will give the general public the opportunity to explore outer space by themselves. Presently, it is extremely expensive for the vast majority of people and as a result, a very small segment of consumers are able and willing to purchase a space experience. Some innovative companies such as Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, Blue Origin, Boeing, Bigelow Aerospace, Orionspan, and zero to infinity are working to reduce the cost so that space travel is more attainable. Motivations and reasons for space tourism are curiosity, world seeking, that is, worthlessness experience, fission of heart from space, a new view of our planet, high speed experience. To perform research activities when in orbit, scientific contribution, and source of inspiration for a new generation of engineers. Some of the space tourism companies are SpaceX, Blue Origin, Boeing, Bigelow Aerospace, Orion Span, Virgin Galactic, and Zero to Infinity. SpaceX has successfully launched Hobbit and recover a spacecraft. It has the capability to send astronauts to orbit and to the International Space Station to perform vertical takeoff and vertical propulsive landing for an orbital rocket and to reuse an orbital rocket. SpaceX aims at orbital space tourism, including moon lunar tourism, before venturing to set up a mass colony. Sp SpaceX is also developing Starship, a privately funded, fully reusable, super heavy lift launch system for interplanetary space flight. However, unlike most other companies operating in this field, SpaceX is prioritizing lunar tourism and other forms of space travel extending beyond at Hobbit. In this picture, we have the demonstration of docking using the SpaceX Dragon with the International Space Station. Blue Origin Blue Origin aims at suborbital space tourism and space payloads. The new Shepard which has the capability to take off and land vertically, is designed to carry as many as six people on a ride past the edge of space, with the capsules on previous test flights reaching an altitude of more than 340,000 feet. In these pictures, we have launching and return of new Shepard. Fajin Galactic aims to provide suborbital space flights to space tourists and suborbital launches for space science missions. The Fajin Galactic Space Tourism Company is a part of the wider Fajin group. Boeing is a major player in the space tourism industry. It aims to sell seas to space tourists. Boeing has plans to reach destinations in low Earth orbit that are in addition to the International Space Station. 
the picture shows docking of Boeing Starliner to the International Space Station. Orion Span plans to build Aurora Station, a luxury hotel in space. The hotel can be used as an orbiting hotel and facility, enabling sovereign nations and corporations cheaper access to space. Bigelow Aerospace aims to commercialize expandable orbital technology, designed to be an independent space station. In this picture, we have Bigelow Aerospace B330 spacecraft. It is the Bigelow Aerospace main habitation system for low, low Earth orbit and beyond low Earth orbit destinations. Zero to Infinity aims at suborbital space tourism. It is presently developing high altitude balloons, which will in turn provide access to near space and low Earth orbit using a balloon bomb pod and the balloon bomb launcher. The new frontier of tourist destinations are orbital space tourism, suborbital space tourism, lunar space tourism, and Mars space tourism. NASA plans are underway to allow private and public astronauts to go to the International Space Station. Orbital space tourism, which is also reversed to as orbital vacation, and thus remaining in space for at least one full orbit. It uses orbital space flight strategy. Orbital space flight must achieve orbital velocity in order to remain in the Earth's orbit. There are ongoing orbital space tourism projects by some private space companies. Previous orbital space tourists, tourists, tourism took place between 2001 and 2009. Space tourists traveled to ISS via Russian Zoyu spacecraft, which was coordinated by Space Adventures. About eight space flights, including seven space tourists, made the trip to the International Space Station. Orbital Space Tourism Projects SpaceX ASEAN Space One ASEAN Space and SpaceX plan to send tourists to the International Space Station via a Dragon 2 spacecraft. Boeing Starliner is development is part of NASA's commercial crew program and it aims to sell seats for space tourists. Bigelow Aerospace initially launched Genesis modules and plans to launch B330, an expandable habitation module aboard a Falcon rocket. Our space station plans to launch and position a luxury space hotel to orbit, and the hotel will float in the unexplored universe. The tourists will have opportunity to enjoy non-space food and drinks. Space Adventures Crew Dragon Mission Space Adventures and SpaceX plan to send tourists to low Earth orbit. Suborbital space tourism uses suborbital space flight strategy and it involves short duration flight. Suborbital space flights fly at slower speeds than orbital flight. Suborbital flight speeds are not powerful enough to enter Earth's orbit. And tourists aboard a suborbital space flight will experience weightlessness for a few minutes at the peak of a flight before falling back to Earth. A suborbital rocket doesn't have the power to achieve orbit. Microgravity research. There is prospect of using commercial suborbital vehicles for microgravity research, and this is attributed to it being low expensive than using International Space Station. Some of the private companies into suborbital space tourism are Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin, and SpaceX. Suborbital Space Tourism Projects Some of the suborbital space tourism projects are scaled composites, first private company to reach and surpass an altitude of 100 kilometers which is 62 miles, that is a common line, arbitrarily defined boundary of space, 
twice within two weeks. It won the ten dollar million S prize in October two thousand and four with Spaceship One. Virgin Galactic plans to offer constant suborbital space flights to space tourists. The Vicu is fleet of five spaceship two class space planes. Blue Origin plans short duration space tourism. The vehicle is New Shepard reusable suborbital launch system. Zero to Infinity also plans suborbital space tourism, a simplified space tourism business. And this is based on high altitude balloons where space tourists can comfortably fly up to 36 kilometers in order to enjoy a spectacular view of Earth. The advantage that Zero Two Infinity has over competitors is that its balloon concept has a lot less moving and flammable parts than rockets. Lunar Space Tourism Space tourists are aiming to travel to the moon for vacation or business purposes. And plans are on the way to over lunar space tourism on or around the moon. Different types of lunar tourist flights are Second Lunar Flyby, Lunar Orbit, and Lunar Landing. Second Lunar Flyby is through a flyby mission. Lunar Orbit, that is mission across the lunar orbit, and the lunar landing is a lunar landing tourism. The planned missions are Space Adventures, planning for a flyby mission, Golden Spy Company, planning for future lunar landing tourism, SpaceX, planning on sending space tourists on a free return trajectory around the moon. This picture shows future European Space Agency lunar base. Mass space tourism is at an early stage of development. Mars is considered to be the next great travel destination of the future, and plans are underway to offer mass space tourism. SpaceX plans unpiloted and piloted trips to Mars. Long-term goals. Both government agencies and private space companies have the long-term goal to inhabit the moon and Mars. This picture shows concept depicting astronauts and human habitats on Mars. For more information, contact Astronautics for Exploit. Thank you.